Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. Valoria Vicender Tartin! Bella! There you are! I was getting worried! Worried that I chickened out? No! I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right! Wait. I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm gonna beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on! Come on, Pokey! Hello? Surprise! Surprise! Whoa. Yay! There is my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. Ugh. Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna find it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> Don't touch the red ones. Mom made those just for me. You're going to eat all of those? I've already had six! That explains a lot. Where would... Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> Do you know where Mom's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help with this shame feast. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl! Stand up for yourself! I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brahma. <laughs> hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, yes. Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors! It's a travesty, Bella. Why'd we stop being warriors? Lavina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed, pushed for appeasement. So we went soft, became a town of bakers. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. For me? No, Mom says you can't have any. I'm just showing it to you. Ah, I didn't want it anyway. Need a towel, Grandpa? Why? Do I look like some old drooling invalid to you? <laughs> For me? Split it with you? Deal. On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? Uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. It's definitely somewhere out here. Mom, I was just wondering, what if we... 
fought the monster instead of feeding it. That's my girl. Now that's beast ender blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. <laughs> it's just got to be. All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time? Honey, why don't we just kill Mog Chothra? <laughs> <laughs> here, here. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. Majestic to behold. Oh, inspiring. Powerful. Mysterious. But Mog Chathra is more than that. Merciful and generous. Mog Chathra keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Please come, Mog Chathra, and make your selections. Welcome to the Maiden's Feast. Show him what you're made of, fella. I know he'll pick you. This can't be right. Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chopra with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I make myself a in my life. Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mog Chathra hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Wanna trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, buzzard! I will fuck you alive if you come near my food again! Never mind. Wanna trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Never mind. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. Center of math, maybe. Hey, Bluebird, can I get a lift out of here? No more ugliness, good. Hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate. Regardless, I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No, I give my life. No, me! Sheesh. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. I hear him. Look, there he is.
Nothing yeah, left but crumbs. Horrible. He's coming for more. I'd never be able to cut through that thick hide. Even those eyes look armor plated. If those are even eyes. Listen, I just want you to know that it's a great honor to pay. Need a towel? I think you got a little maiden on your cheek there. No? But I think maybe we should. I mean, you who over here. Hmm. Huh. Not working. Oh god, I changed my mind! I changed my mind! <laughs> Need a utensil to eat that? No thanks. I feel silverware detracts from the hand feel of food. 